that's the fewer, fewer scoring options on the ball on the team. So you ended up having to take a lot of tough shots. This year, it seems like because there's more guys around, you can score. Are you able to pick your spots more or not? Feel you have to carry the scoring score this year? Absolutely. You know, I think it's, it kind of shows that too because when I score, it's not usually not to like the last 10 minutes of the game. So, um, I just come when I'm needed. You know, uh, I try to get my teammates involved as, as early as possible and get them going. But if I'm needed in the game, late in the game, like the SEC game, uh, again, like Western Illinois, yeah, then that's why I, I can know when to step up, where to get to my spot. At too. You've had a lot of success against Marquette's point guard, um, Polek. And not a lot of people can say that they've done defensively to him what you have. But what have just been the keys these last two? Sure, he's a great point guard. Um, I think he uh, facilitates really well. You know, he's a great scorer, great defender as well. So um, just to go in and you know play against another tough point guard like that, you know, this is what, this is what you want. It's what, it's what you really want to do. You know, play big games like this. So you know, to be able to go out and just be able to produce against a, a great point guard like that. You know, really nice. I feel like you grew from last year's game. I mean, you hit a bunch of big shots in the lake going on the road. It's, it's not an easy situation, and, and you did that. How do you think it kind of helps your confidence having this game in your uh, own court, home court confidence? Yeah, for sure. It definitely gives me confidence, especially knowing my teammates trust me with the ball, my coaches trust me with the ball. So, you know, uh, it just gives me a lot of confidence going in, you know, against SMU. I feel like my teammates really trusted me. Uh, they really wanted me to have the ball, so that gave me a lot of confidence to be able to go out there and just score. Yeah, for sure. We just take it one game at a time. We're focused on Marquette right now. That's all we've all we've been focused on this week, you know. So we're just trying to uh, stay focused one one game at a time. Last year you shot really well for three, but you two point attempts. You talked about drives. You weren't in the two point percentage right now is really high. What have you done? What did you focus on in the offseason and so far this season to try to get those shots to go down? Yeah, for sure. Um, that's just being more athletic, you know, uh, being more uh, leaner. You know, I'm able to elevate off the ground a lot more, uh, get by defenders a lot more. You know, I'm playing, playing more uh, on two feet this year than I did last year. You know, I'm more controlled, so I think that's what, that's what it was compared to last year. Is that the plan? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You talked about, you know, facilitating for teammates early and scoring the last 10 minutes. Has Coach told you sometimes that maybe you're a little too unselfish early on? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I could definitely feel it for myself when I'm being a little too unselfish, you know. Um, and, you know, it just kind of, coach, that's when Coach takes me out for a little bit, you know, kind of, I can get my mind right and get back in the game and feel, like, get the flow of the game. So, you know, uh, that's what Kamari McGee's so good for, you know. Uh, he just comes in, knows his role, and knows how to do it well. He gets his energy, and I'm able to feed off the energy when I get back in the game. So that's what that's what I love playing with Kamari. Yeah, I love Kamari. I mean, it seems like you guys have a quartet of strong defensive guards. Kamari, John Blackwell, Michael Kind of, what is that allowed you to do? And how does that allow you to do? Yeah, for sure. Uh, when we got guards, all of us are on the floor like that. You know, it's really hard to, to score against us because the, the guards we're just going to eat you up. On. The other guards up, so that's what we want to do. We want to get out and run as well when all the guards are in the game and just be able to push the tempo. Connor was such a vital part of this team second half of the season. How have you just kind of seen him handle moving to the bench and kind of you know, working his way through the slow start here because of the injury, which I'm sure can affect guys a lot of different ways? Yeah, for sure. You know, uh, you could tell tell Connor's starting to get back to his normal self. You know, he's hit some tough threes in practice and uh, you know it just looks like it's not himself again so I'm happy to see that he's back to where he was at in the beginning as a freshman year and I'm looking forward to seeing him shine this season as well. What, what stands out to you the most uh, with this matchup? What are you excited for the most game Saturday? Um, just a great atmosphere you know uh, with this a game you want to play you always dream of playing as a child a rivalry game um, and we're just looking forward to it. You talk about being explosive. Sometimes you know players who are not supposed to get that ability to also play a little more or play a little less out of control. How do you kind of find a way to balance the two this early? For sure. Uh, I may be a more athletic, but I'm still 6'2". I'm still going against defenders that are 7 foot, so I just got to pick and choose when to elevate. Um, it's most of the time, I'm probably going to be staying on two feet because most, the most of the defenders we like to play, they get out their feet like Western Illinois. I'll go to find Steve um, on the kick 
worked out, you know, a couple of times. So, you know, that's what I do best.